Oh my god, a giant hog moth that I found today in the Brazilian Atlantic rainforest. Do I have your attention with this one? Good, I hope so, because this is an awesome species that deserves to have its own video on YouTube. But what species is it anyway? Well, let's find out today in today's bug highlight. This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. So what species do we have here? Let me introduce you to the Plumeria sphinx moth, Pseudo sphinx tetrio. This moth is widespread throughout the American tropics and subtropics in lowland habitats. Its range extends from southern Brazil to Central America, Mexico and all the way up to the southern parts of the United States such as Texas, Florida, Arkansas and Arizona. At more northern altitudes than this, or latitudes I should say, they become more and more rare and are considered to be more stray individuals. This species is after all bound to warmer climates and mostly sticks to tropical to subtropical climates. So to summarize, it's found from Brazil all through Central America to North America, but it sticks to the southern parts of the United States and strays are more rare in the north. So why is it called the Plumeria Sphinx Moth? Well, because their main preferred food plant is called Plumeria. This decorative plant is also known as Frangipangi. On this plant from the Apocynaceae family, the larvae are often found feeding in plain sight. And difficult to find, they are not, as they are extremely large, colorful and conspicuous. The larval color pattern is a typical aposematic warning sign that they are potentially toxic to predators. Host plants in the Apocynaceae family produce white, toxic latex that Pseudosphinx Tetrio is able to detoxify and possibly sequester for defensive purposes. Apart from Plumeria, they also use other plants such as the Apocynaceus vines, Rhabdadenia biflora and Echitis umbrellata. These vines occur in salt marshes and at the edges of mangrove forests and are found plentifully for example in southern Florida but also other places. Hematanthus succuba is also reported and potentially more species of Apocynaceus plants as well. Tetrio sphinx caterpillars often appear in gardens or landscaping and can defoliate frangipangi trees in a few days or a couple of weeks. It seems to be continuously brooded or near continuously brooded in most of its range, although I don't rule out the possibility of a short suspended pupal development to skip some of the coldest times of the year. This awesome grey moth is found in lowlands in a variety of habitats, including rainforests but also mangroves, and suburban areas considering their host plants are decorative plants often propagated by humans. This individual insect was found and consecutively photographed within the natural reserve of Regua. Regua stands for Reserva Ecologica de Guapiazzu. Regua is a natural reserve in the Atlantic rainforest in Brazil that collaborates with me and supports my work as an entomologist and my YouTube channel in order to document the insects in a reserve and record them for scientific reasons but also to draw awareness for the reserve on social media. If you want to learn more about the hogmoths of Brazil, I greatly recommend the website brazilhogmoths.com, a website by Alan Martin, who is my friend from Regua and who is incredibly knowledgeable about hogmoths. The website contains hundreds of pictures and information and keys to identify Brazilian hog moths. It's very clear a lot of passion, attention and care have been invested in the development of this website, so go check it out people, it's worth it. Like and subscribe, and soon I will upload many more videos about hog moths from Brazil. So keep an eye on my channel, hope to see you in my next video, bye bye.